hip fractures, types, and fixation. This is a quick review of the hip fracture types and its fixation. The hip fracture can be a femoral neck fracture, which is called subcapital fracture, or an intertrochanteric or subtrochanteric fracture. The femoral neck fracture, which is subcapital fracture, there's a high incidence of evascular necrosis and non-union. There's a high mortality in the elderly. And the treatment, if it is non-displaced, you will do pinning by cannulated screws for the young and for the elderly. And if it is displaced in a young patient, you will do reduction, either close reduction or open reduction, followed by pinning with cannulated screws. However, displaced in the elderly, you will do prosthesis, either bipolar, unipolar, or a total hip. It's not advisable to do close reduction and screw fixation in displaced subcapital fracture in the elderly. Now we go to the intertrochanteric fracture. There are two types, regular type, regular intertroch fracture, and the reverse oblique fracture. The regular intertrochanteric fracture, you can treat it by a compression hip screw or intramedullary nailing some people prefer a long nail, but usually treated by a short nail. If you put a long nail, make sure you don't perforate the anterior cortex of the distal femur. The reverse oblique one is the one that affects the lateral cortex of the femur and the treatment usually by intramedullary nail. Some people prefer blade plate. Or fixed angled plate. But the majority of cases are done by IAM rodding. Do not use compression hip screw with a reverse oblique fracture. There will be medial displacement of the fracture due to the pull of the adductor muscle. It is not a suitable device for reverse oblique fracture. How about subtrochanteric fracture? The fracture line extends distal to the lesser trochanter. The fracture is subjected to high stress load and non-union can occur here quite frequently. The subtrochanteric region have a hard cortical bone that doesn't heal very well. The majority of cases are treated by an intramedullary nail. Some people still use compression hip screw but it is not commonly used and there is a higher chance of non-union. You may want to do this case closed so you preserve the blood supply and the healing ability of the fracture. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.